Hey everyone, this is Elliot with JotForm, here with Chad from JotForm as well, and we're really excited you're able to join us today for our webinar on how to use JotForm Smart PDF Forms. This is, I think, one of the more sophisticated tools we've rolled out from a developmental standpoint, and it's really pretty cool to see in action. We'll get to do that today, but before we do, we'll start off with a bit of an overview and intro to the product, which, with no further ado, we'll jump right into. What we want to do today is give you a better understanding of the JotForm Smart PDF Forms tool and how it works. We'll look at what it can do and most importantly, how you can make this tool work for you and really just reimagine the way you approach PDF forms. We'll of course demonstrate it in use as well and then take some time at the end to answer any questions. If you do have a question, by the way, you'll see a button on your screen that says Q&A, so you can just click on that and type in whatever it is, and then submit it to send a question our way at any time during the presentation. So just what is JotForm Smart PDF Forms? Well, essentially, it's a tool that takes your existing PDF files and transforms them in seconds to easy to fill online forms. Then once someone fills that form out, it converts it back into the original PDF format. Now this is a really cool feature because it empowers you to send and fill potentially even longer, more complex PDFs a lot more conveniently as an online form, electronically, even on your mobile device, and yet it still maintains the integrity of the original formatting once it's all filled out. And the best part is, this doesn't require Adobe Acrobat Pro or any fancy software. The form will be right there online to fill out no matter what device you access it from. And once again, this product is 100% free to all tiers of JotForm users. But how does it work? So you can upload any existing PDF you have on your device to JotForm Smart PDF Forms, where the tool will scan it and automatically generate an online fillable form from it. It will retain all the content and text from the PDF, and it senses what areas need to be filled out, whether that's the name field, signature, date, address, what have you, and then it creates the correlated data entry fields on the form itself. You can then customize it just like our normal form builder, making sure you have the exact fields you want for the fillable portions. Then once you're happy with the form, you can assign it or share it via link. And when the recipient fills it out, it'll populate a copy of the original PDF with all their answers. And this can be useful in a lot of ways. It's really the kind of thing you might not even realize you need until you have it, especially when it comes to longer, more complex PDFs that can be a pain to fill out electronically or to scan through on your phone. This turns them into a user-friendly online form for people to fill out wherever and whenever on whatever device, and then it retains that original format, as we've said, which can be important for a lot of these types of documents and for record keeping. Just a few examples of where this tool might come in handy, as you can see, are legal documents, contracts, non-disclosure agreements, application forms, waivers, request forms, inspection forms, the list goes on. Now, a lot of these might be somewhat intricate or specifically formatted pre-existing documents that your organization relies on, but you still need to get them filled out and do so electronically. Our goal with JotForm Smart PDF Forms was to make that process a little easier for you. So to get started, it's really pretty easy and we'll demonstrate it in just a second, but all you have to do is click on create form on the top left of your My Forms page, just like you're starting any other form. Then you choose import form and import PDF form right after that, and you'll get to upload your PDF. The tool will scan your file and create a form based off your PDF, showing the original PDF on the right and the correlated form it just generated side by side on the left. Then you can check everything looks in order and make any adjustments to the online form you need to before sharing it. Always easier to visualize though, so we'll go ahead and take you to a live demo so you can see this in action. For that, I'll pass it over to my colleague, Chad. Thanks, Elliot. Hey everyone, Chad here, VP of Marketing and Communications at JotForm. I'm just gonna take a few minutes to show you how to set up your brand new smart PDF form. So first thing is first, we need to actually begin the process with a PDF form. So I'm gonna exit out of the presentation for a moment. And luckily enough, we have this wonderful sports waiver and release of liability form. It's nothing fancy, probably looks like a type of PDF form that you've filled out dozens of times in your life. And now we're gonna demo to turn this form into a smart PDF form 
in job form. So we're going to start in the My Forms page. I'm going to go ahead and create a new form, import form. And now you see here the option to import PDF form. This is where we'll upload the same liability release form. This process might take a couple of moments while it converts. Ta-da, there we go. So the form you see on the right is the same PDF form that we started with. And what you see on the left is a completely transformed version into an online form. So to just to quickly go through this, when you click on any of these fields, you can see where they're matched from the original document. This is great if you needed to double check anything. You can also modify these fields if you needed to make the, the fields any larger or um, place it any differently on the, on the PDF form when it, when it originally, or when it publishes uh, the submitted information. And just like you're used to seeing, you can add elements to this uh, online form. So if we wanted to add a text field or something like that, um, it gives you that option and then you can see where it would, it would populate on the submitted PDF. In this case, it's a pretty crowded PDF. It doesn't make much sense to add any additional fields. We'll go ahead and remove that. And we also have the option to customize the look and feel of this form using our form designer. Some of these preset color options are great. We'll go ahead and make ours a nice purple. And now let's go ahead and preview what this form will look like. Preview option right here in the top right. So one of the questions you might be asking is, what's the benefit of using an online form as opposed to a PDF? And one of the main answers to that is ease of use, especially ease of use for the form user or the person who's actually responding to the form. And that's especially important when you factor in device types. So PDF forms aren't really intended for anything other than being filled out on a desktop, um, but that's not true with online forms, which are responsive um, and can be filled out on any type of device. So from the preview mode, you can see how your newly designed form will look when it appears on various device types. Um, by default, it, it shows you what it looks like on a desktop, but you also have the option to see how it's going to look on a tablet. As well as a smartphone. As you can tell already, this is a lot uh, more friendly and, and approachable than, uh, than a PDF form. This would be really easy for someone to fill out on their phone. You can also change the orientation if you want to look at it this way as well. But I'm not actually going to fill out this form. For that, I'm going to pass it back over to Elliot, being the amateur athlete that he is. And he'll take a stab at filling out this athletic liability and release form. Now, to get it into Elliot's hands, we're going, to, we're going to assign it to him, which we'll be able to do from the publish option. And we'll go ahead and assign it to Elliot by mailing it to him directly. So now that the form is in Elliot's hands, we'll check back in a moment and see how the form looks when it's been submitted and it's back in my job form account. But in the meantime, Elliot will walk you through how this, uh, how it actually looks to fill out the form. So Elliot, go ahead and take it away. 
Great. Thank you, Chad. So he assigned the form to me and this is what it looks like. I just get an email with a link to view the form directly, which I'll click on. Here I can start filling. And as you can see, it just looks like any regular online form. I can start filling out the fields, sign, date, Uh, forge a fake parent signature right now. Kids don't do this at home. And then I can preview what the final PDF will look like in its original format. Here we go. Um, yeah, everything looks in order. Let's use that and I can just press submit and this will send the completed form back to him where it will populate uh, on the original PDF format as we've shown. So while I have you, I'm going to go ahead and show another type of form, a more complex form, a job application actually. Um, and this will have a lot more fields, um, a lot more processing that will need to take place. Um, but you can see that the tool will regardless take it and be able to transpose uh, all the data um, really seamlessly. Um, so give it a second. Uh, like I said, some more fields. It's a bit more of a complex document. Um, so it has to generate the online form from it. Here we are. So on the right, you see the original PDF application for employment. And on the left, you see the online form. Um, so here are all the fields that are correlated. Um, and everything looks like it transposed uh, pretty accurately. Um, here we get to tinker or change or adjust anything that we want to in the form itself. Um, as an example, available start date. We don't need to, the hours and minutes. We're fine with just the date. So um, we can take out that. So you can just go into the form builder, click into the field itself, and then turn off the time field. Easy as that. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty good here. Uh, anything else? I guess we can just do the same thing down here again. Um, adjust the properties, turn off the time field, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, that looks pretty good. So we're going to rename this quickly, um, just to job application. Perfect, and then we're going to publish. So we can assign the form. I'll assign this back to Chad just to show you. And send away. So he's gonna get that invitation to fill out the job application. And he'll also have my completed form uh, for the athletic waiver that he'll get to show you on his end. And with that, I'll actually pass it back over to him. So Chad, take it away. Thank you, Elliot, and hello again, everyone. All right, so let's take a quick look to see how Elliot's submitted form shows up in my inbox. So the PDF was sent to my email address, and from here we can see how the PDF will look, with, look like with all of Elliot's answers. So all the answers you just saw Elliot enter into his online form are now formatted back into the original PDF. And we even have the option to have a timestamp on the signature field so we know the exact moment that uh, Mama Smith and John Smith uh, signed their form. All right, so let's, now let's check in on the form that Elliot assigned to me. We'll look at my inbox for this as well. We'll go ahead and view the form. And there we have it, a clean, easy to fill online form. So this is kind of a longer form. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit to show you how it looks and fill it in automatically. I'll go ahead and add my real name though. I think there was a signature field at the bottom here as well. I'll sign my real name. And just to see how this looks as a PDF form, we'll go ahead and preview it. And there we go. 
signature field at the bottom as well. All right, so I'm going to kick it back to Elliot and we'll start our Q&A. Awesome. Thanks for that, Chad. So yeah, that concludes the live demo portion of this webinar. Thank you so much for watching. And now we're happy to kick off Q&A to address any questions that may have come up during the presentation. A reminder that if you do have a question, now is your chance to submit it in the Q&A chat box. So please feel free.